Hello everyone, Big Man here, and uh, today we're going to be learning how to make some very simple, very basic, very effective missiles that you can strap onto anything and launch and fire with accuracy. So let's uh, let's get into it. So first things first, you're going to need a platform. Now I'm going to be just using the default platform that you get um, in the backup section. If you don't know where it is, go to your presets, missile tracking. To let this missile that we want to make our right. first things first get a pivot place it down so that we have a separate body and then we're going to get a hard point connector now you can use the standard connector attachment or the round one it does not matter they weigh the same they have the same functionality i'm going to use the round one though because it's a missile next things next we're going to need a warhead i'm going to stick mine on the front of the hard point and we're going to go into select mode and we're going to put our impact threshold up to whatever you want it to be i'm going to put it 10 meters per second and go all the way up to 50. that means that if you have this at 10 for this to detonate it needs to be activated with the detonate node it also needs to have an impact of 10 meters per second so it's not a will detonate if this happens or impact is 10 meters per second it's a will detonate if activated and 10 meters per second impact next let's get a radar we'll just get a missile radar put it on the front and make sure that when looking at the radar from top down positive arrow is rotating clockwise next we're just going to get uh boosters type in fuel and we're going to get some small rocket fuel i'm going to put three on and then i'm going to put fin section on and now you'll notice that this has many arrows and a forward facing arrow so we want the forward facing arrow facing into the missile we want the side ones positive rotating down and the negative rotating up we want the top one bottom to be rotating clockwise now if you don't know how to flip using o u and i and there we go so we flipped it so now we've got a negative rotating upwards on the bottom and the positive here rotating clockwise that's exactly what we want now let's get a booster and now for the logic. So we're gonna get our missile output, pretends that X and Y data for the most immediate target. Put that straight into our fins. Electricity, we're gonna put into from our hard point because when released, a hard point acts as a small battery. We're gonna get our launched and we're gonna do our detonate, our activator radar and our trigger. Remember, this won't blow up straight away because it's a 10 meters per second impact. Next, we're gonna go to our radar, change it to static and change your FOV to whatever you want. I like 0.7 and depends on the range you want. I might go 0.7 on both of them. Next, we'll just change ordinance type to radar guided missile. Change the fin influence to maybe 60, 70%. It's up to you. I might go for 70. That's what I like. Burn rate, I keep it about 30, 40. Okay, now that you've got that, you should be able to fire this. So let's sort of spawn this in and give it a target. Okay, so you can see the light is flickering to indicate that, you know, it has been detected by the actual station. Let's spawn in, uh, let's, let's fire this. Direct hit right in the fuselage. Yeah, and as you can see, I mean like, well, look, our, uh, our turret's gone. Our bomb bay is non-functional. If we had the bombs with warheads in here, they would have blown up and we would have completely taken out this plane. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. So yeah, now you know how to make a missile. Uh, I'd like to see what you guys come up with. Um, if you have any questions, just ask me. You leave them in the comments. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.